Okay, we're going to do an example of percent composition. We'll do problem number one on your worksheet. So we're asked to find the percent composition of each element that's in the compound. And the compound that we're given is ammonium sulfite. Now the trick here is that they have not given us the formula for ammonium sulfite. So we're going to have to use some of the seals that we learned in the last chapter with how to write formulas. So the first step is to figure out what ammonium is. And if you look at your polyatomic ion sheet, ammonium is NH4. And it has a plus one charge. Sulfite if you look at your period or your polyatomic ion sheet, has a formula of SO3. And the charge on sulfite is a minus 2. So in order to get the formula for ammonium sulfite, we have to crisscross the charges. And so our formula for ammonium sulfite is going to be NH4, parentheses with the 2, and then SO3. And we don't have to put parentheses around it because it only has a 1 following. So now that we have the formula, what we want to do is figure out what the total mass is of ammonium sulfite. So we're going to need to add up each one of the elements in this compound. So in order to do that, we're going to break it down into its elements. N we actually have two ends because they're of this two outside the parentheses. So we have two ends, and each nitrogen has a mass of 14, giving us a mass of 28 grams for nitrogen. Our mass of H is going to be same thing. We have this two here, and so we're going to distribute the two inside the parentheses. So 4 times 2 is 8. So we have a grand total of 8 hydrogen atoms, each with a mass of 1. So our mass of hydrogen is going to be 8 grams. Now for our mass of sulfur, we only have one sulfur, and that sulfur has a mass of 32 grams. So 1 times 32 is 32. And last but not least, oxygen. We have three oxygen atoms, and looking at the periodic table, oxygen has a mass of 16. So 3 times 16 will give us a mass of 48 grams. So now we have part of our answer completed. We have the masses for each individual element that makes up the compound. And so now, to get the percent composition, first step, we need to figure out what is the total mass of this compound. And in order to figure that out, we simply add up each element's mass. And so 28 plus 8 plus 32 plus 48 gives us a total of 116 grams. And that's going to be our molar mass for ammonium sulfate. And since it's a molar mass, we're going to say 116 grams for every mole. Now to figure out the percent composition of each element, now it's very simple. To figure out the percent composition of nitrogen, we just need to take 28 and divide it by 116 and then times that number by 100%. So 28 divided by 116 is approximately 0.24. And so timesing that by 100 will give us 24%. For hydrogen, we're going to take 8 divided by 116, times that by 100%, and our answer is going to be 7%. For sulfur, we're taking the mass, 32, divided by the total mass, times it by 100, and our percent composition for sulfur is 28%. And last but not least, oxygen, 48 grams divided by 116, times that by 100, and our percentage 
for oxygen is going to be 41%. Now just to double check your answer and make sure that this is correct, what you could do is go back and add up these percentages. And to make sure you're correct, these percentages should add up to 100%. So if we add 24 plus 7 plus 28 plus 41, we get 100%. So we know that we did this problem correctly. So just to review, first step is figuring out what the formula is going to be by crisscross. Second step is going to be writing.